All right, everybody, welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a long time since you guys have seen us. We are just so busy all the time, but it's Pride Month and we wanted to come hang out with you, our YouTube family for Pride Month. If you're new here, my name is Nick. And I am Justin. And we are an engaged couple. We're not brothers. If you want to see our engagement video, we will link it up somewhere here on the screen for you to click on, but make sure you come back to this video. We're going to just be chatting a little bit about what pride means to us. Just a little fun talk. I'm going to be doing a little simple pride makeup look on Justin that you can rock at a pride festival or whatever kind of celebration you're going to. This will be an experience for me, but I'm excited because it's for pride and like... It's going to be super simple though. It's not like glam. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm excited because honestly like makeup, it's been watch, fun watching Nick on his makeup journey because you know, like we we live in a society that throws in our face like all these gender norms and stereotypes and things like that. So anywho. If you wanna just hang out with us and we're gonna just chit chat and do some makeup and just have a little have a little fun, keep on watching. Yes. And and keep on watching. <laughs> and keep on watching. The stuff I'm gonna be using is just going to be from Ulta Beauty. You can go or to a Target, you can get these products. It's from NYX, and this is a very colorful eyeshadow Ooh, palette. It is. So you can just get simple stuff like that. Very cheap at Ulta. Um, if the Ulta is not near you, Target might be, and you can just grab some brushes too, because you will need some brushes. But we're just gonna be playing around with a little bit of that. I put some foundation on Justin's face already, just to kind of lay down a base, but you don't need to do that. It just lets the colors pop a little bit more. It's like my skin, but, but better. better. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not doing like an eyeshadow look. I'm just gonna like go on the side of his face and do something. So, anywho, let's jump in. Let's do this. Do you remember your first pride? My first pride. Ever? Like, where was it? My first pride ever was actually in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ever? I think so, yeah. So... That's where we met. That is where we met. Uh, the reason being, I think I had maybe been to some pride events when I was younger, but the, I don't really remember them. What I remember is Pittsburgh. That's like the first one where I think I was like fully myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was like a, a really, you just heard Theo. Theo is literally, I'm actually petting Theo right now. He's like literally just like, <laughs> you saw his little foot. Um, just so they know he's here. That's an Alaska moment. <laughs> it was, Alaska with her shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was the first time I was fully myself. I, I had just recently come out. I don't know, it was an empowering experience because for so long, I had hidden who I was, not just to my friends and family, but I think even to myself a little bit, I hid myself. So it was, it was so cool to me. There's Theo. Ooh. Hey, pal. Lay down. Lay down, buddy. We're story time, buddy. Yeah. So, but anyway, it was just, it was such a like eye-opening experience for me. I just feel like I just like opened up at that point because I saw so many people being so true and authentic that it was hard not to, you know, want to feel that way. You know what I mean? I think that there's so many times these like, ooh, Theo's itching himself. But yeah, like you just like, you see somebody being themselves, being authentic, and it makes you want to to find that same happiness and that same, that same courage. And I think that that's when it really started for me. I've seen so many memes here on Twitter lately and stuff like that, where it was like, me when I was gay in elementary school, where you're like super closeted and and scared that someone's gonna find out or that they'll think differently of you if they do find out. And then it's like me now and it's just like, move, I'm gay. Making copies, move, I'm gay. You know what I mean? Like you just <laughs> like, you find that, you know, this, this safety and this embrace and like just being yourself. And I think that that's always something that's like, and been important to me. Um, and still, now I just don't care who knows. Still to this day, I have to say Rory G. Biv in my head to- uh, Did you really? <laughs> to remember the colors, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. -E. <laughs> and I always, when I do makeup looks, I always kind of skip indigo and I just do five colors. Why do you skip indigo? Because like, it's so close to blue. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost said green. I'm gonna do yellow first. <laughs> he, he's doing Roy G. Bim and he's not, he, he still can't do it, y'all. So my first Pride was in Denver and I remember I was Ooh. like in a Pride parade float with this one gay club and they had Oh, that's me, awesome. And I was like up there and um, I don't know, it was my first Pride. I was, how old was I? I was like 18 years old or something like that. Full-fledged in my underwear on a Pride float. Work. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Work. So yeah, that was my first Pride. 
I think that's awesome. And it was it was a lot of fun. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it. We'll have to like go closer to the camera. I'm like doing like a like just a rainbow going up the side of your face. And it's, the camera's not really catching it. But we can get closer up then. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's awesome. Actually, so some of you'll also notice I'm wearing a Twitch Pride shirt right now. So some of you, y'all may know I actually live stream on Twitch, but um, it's Pride Month and actually Twitch is like a really, really great uh, company and organization mm -hmm. because they are actually uh, working with the Trevor Project to raise money for the Trevor Project uh, during Pride. And I was also selected as one of the streamers for the front page of Twitch, which is actually sort of a big deal. And I'm really excited about it and actually a little nervous about it as well. But on June 12th, from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern, from 4 to 7, from like 4 to, yeah, 7 Pacific then, I will actually be on the front page of Twitch. So I would love it if you guys would come join me. And I'll also be raising money for the Trevor Project. How, we've already raised a lot of money for the Trevor Project. Right? Yes. We've actually raised, in four hours, we raised like $5,300. And I just was amazed because the Trevor Project is one of those organizations that just means a lot. So um, some of you may know Nick's story, but he's actually from a very small town in Pennsylvania. I will say this one more thing real quick. Yeah. I am doing a little bit more. Also, you can get this at Ulta Beauty. This is from Morphe Cosmetics. It's their artistry palette. And it's actually the James Charles Artistry Palette. I'm using a little bit of this to make the colors pop a little bit more too. Yeah. But you don't need this. It's just giving a little bit more of a harsher pigment in your, and I like it. So yeah. keep going. But anyway, I guess like where I was going with this is that, you know, the Trevor Project provides suicide prevention and crisis intervention um, services to LGBTQIA plus youth. So, um, I, you know, I'm really happy to be working with them. And I think like, I think about Nick, especially like growing up in a small area and sometimes like maybe you don't feel like you have avenues to seek help, especially, you know, coming out in a small town where you don't see people who, who are like you or who look like you can be really tough. And I don't know how that was for you, Nick. Like, did you find that it was like hard to be gay in a small town? I did because I feel like you kind of, there's some people in my high school that I kind of knew were but like i wasn't even sure i was and i didn't really know how to explain it that i was feeling that connection with mm -hmm. them and i mean i see so many kids now especially like well, especially now that i'm in the makeup world people are so much more comfortable being themselves in high school and i think that's amazing i wish it was like that for us when we were younger i don't know i just found it hard to really connect with people and identify i did have my group of friends that were my core group of friends none of them were gay in there but um and to this day they're still not but, but they were always super supportive when i did come out and i just feel like high school sucks and you know <laughs> high school does end i know i've talked to a lot of people who have are in high school and need advice and stuff i promise it feels like it's awful going through it and but it does end and high school is such a distant memory for everybody i'm still good friends with my core group of friends from high school actually but you don't have to be you don't have to high, live high school all your life so it, there is a brighter side down the road, at least high school wise, you know? And blending the color kind of into his hairline to kind of look like it's coming like from his beard so it's not too harsh. And I keep wiggling the brushes around to kind of like make it smoky and natural. You're beautiful, B. <laughs> it will. It will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so make sure you guys, uh, actually down in uh, the bio, we'll link to my Twitch channel and we'll have the information there on when I'm going on the front page because it would be really cool if some of y'all from YouTube would would join in. I, we'd love to see you guys there, especially uh, front page can bring a lot of viewers and it would be really cool to like raise, I'm hoping to raise $10,000 for the Trevor Project. So. Yeah, so other than that, I think also on my makeup journey, mm -hmm. I've been meeting a lot of cool people and a lot of different opportunities have happened for me. There is a company called Sigma Beauty and they're really oh, yeah. known for their brushes. They have really nice quality brushes and they gave me an affiliate code. So if you use code Nick on SigmaBeauty.com, you get, normally it's 10% off your purchase, but during Pride Month, you get 40% off and they oh, surprised awesome. me with that. And that was really cool because all of my affiliate money now and forevermore goes to the Trevor Project. So I'm gonna keep that going all year long. And if people use my code and it ends up being more than that, all the money's gonna go to the Trevor Project. Oh, that's awesome. You look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> if you ever want to venture into makeup, I think Pride Month and Pride Festivals and parades are like the best time to really experiment going out into public with makeup. Obviously, we're not doing it like a like a true makeup look with this is mostly just like a whimsical pride look. We're gonna have the pride, like we're gonna have a rainbow going up the side of Justin's face. Something that you could just wear with like a badge of honor. We're just gonna do the one side to kind of a whoosh. And I honestly, I hope everybody, you know, when you're ready has the opportunity to go to a pride event. Like I was saying earlier, like it was such a, I don't know, like a, a transcending period to just like be there and to experience like just everybody being themselves. So like that's like to go in like hand in hand, like, you know, like there's all this stuff, you know, about being like heteronormativity and like men don't wear makeup and men don't like like the color pink and things like that. And I think, you know, young me just even right now, like wearing makeup like this would have been so concerned about you know, how it looked to the outside world, how people would perceive me if I was wearing makeup. But like one of the things that you learn like when you're in this community and especially when you're at Pride events is that like people just love you for who you are. Mm -hmm. And I think at the end of the day, when people see you just like being true to yourself, like that means so much more to someone than like just, you know, creating this, this false sense of self around things that society tell us are who we are supposed to be. So, you know, I, I that's just why like pride is such like an important thing to me. Um, and I just like, I just, I get so excited for June and just being able to go to, to pride events, you know, across the country, in, in other countries as well. And I think it's too like, you know, talking about other places as well, it's so important to also point out the fact that you may not be ready to go to Pride. And that there's also places where it's not safe. So, you know, we're, we're your family, we're here for you. I'm sorry I'm so focused too. Justin's a better talker anyway. He's really <laughs> very good at um, conveying thoughts and stuff like that. And I love like his, his, uh, his out outlook and take on things. You have a, you're very, smart <laughs> and you you really like you can come across and say i don't know i don't know what i'm saying see i can't even talk right now but <laughs> he just like has a lot of good advice i go to justin when i need advice even though i've been with him all these years <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all nick has informed me that sparkles are being added to my face right now i don't know what that means the moment, in the makeup world that. well well he's informed me that it's about to happen okay <laughs> and nothing says pride like adding sparkles. So can you please proceed with the sparkles? <laughs> They're just like, you can get anything really. I just got this like, it's called a Super Shock Cheek Shadow and I'm Ooh. gonna use this, it's like a highlighter from ColourPop. And I'm gonna put that over top, kind of and make your rainbow really shine. It's gonna kind of, there's like different like colors in here that's gonna make, like as you turn your head, mm -hmm. it's like kind of, how do I, say, pink purple like, glitter flex in here. It's gonna make it look like wet and very like ethereal wet. and three-dimensional. Oh, sorry. Did you say other words? I got stuck on wet. <laughs> I'm a professional. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so if you slightly turn your head, do you see how that looks like wet and that really like... Wet. <gasps> the shines. Wet. Wait, one more time. No, don't say wet. <laughs> Theo, what are you doing? Theo, no, dad is doing makeup. <laughs> no. Oh my god, he's an animal. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's running amok right now. You're, all you're gonna hear is Theo's like hot breath, slobber yeah. breath. That looks so cool. So afterwards, if you just take a like clean makeup wipe, you could, if you want like sharp angles, I think we decided we wanted that, right, Justin? Yeah, I want sharp angles. Sharp I want it, my, I want my edges. Snatched. Snatch. <laughs> Do I still look wet? Kinda. <laughs> Oily wet. <laughs> oh. Let me see. Ooh, look at that ring. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so you can see it's just like, you could cover your whole face with that too if you want, but obviously. And I, oh! You just keep dropping everything. I do. <laughs> Obviously you can do more of your face if you want. Justin just kind of wanted like a side swipe of badge. It almost looks like you're going to a gay battle or something like that. Ooh, I like that. Originally our inspiration for doing this is comes from somebody that I follow in the makeup world. His name is Darian Isaac. I will link his channel down in the description box. 
for his YouTube and you should go check out his Instagram as well. He did a look like this that covered his entire face and it just looks so beautiful. And something that he did too as well is he put like little white dots to make it look almost like a extra out of dimension, like it was mm -hmm. almost like in space or something mm -hmm. like that. I really like that a lot. Do a little bit with my iPhone and then I will superimpose it on this video of like purple glitter. So turn towards me a little bit. Ooh, and so you can see right here the little purple glitter specks that when he shifts, it shows a color. And actually I should probably add more color right here in your hair because I didn't get some in that part right here, but we'll add it in a little bit. Other than that, you can't really go wrong with just getting glitter and slapping it all over your face, to be honest. <laughs> that's exact, that's the meaning of pride. Yeah. Like, just get a bunch of glitter and slap it everywhere. I could add just in a little bit of, like, if you want to, dots within there, but I think we're good with just the yeah, I think we're good, yeah. <laughs> Justin's like, no more! Just create your own art. I think it's fun. Just a, a little extra oomph for pride. Yeah. I think just, like, as we move forward, like, let's come together as a family. Um, you know, I, I think we've talked, there's been so many things in like the, the community about like, are we- We tear each other down sometimes. I know, yeah, do we do enough for each other? And I, I, I think for me, something that I've really trying to focus on this year with Pride is that we're intersectional in, in what we do and what we celebrate because I think Nick and I both recognize that like as white cisgendered men, we have a lot of privilege in the gay community. We should be tasked, you know, with all the privilege that we have with listening and listening to people who, who not only are they LGBTQIA+, but they, they might also be a person of color and, or, you know, they might be, you know, living in poverty. There's so many different ways that, that, you know, simply being in the community can be almost like amplified in in the prejudice that you face because you may occupy more than one you know issue really and i think as we as a community come together for pride like let's just remember that you know we sometimes celebrate our successes and we forget to to remember that there's people who are still fighting for the same things that we are because it's still harder for them you know they don't have the same privileges that we may have so with that said, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Hi, Betty. <laughs> he kept it up on his own. He did his own. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he was like, high fives for pride. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, just like as we, I, my, I think what I would like to say to everybody is just remember this pride to keep in mind people in our community who still don't, you know, have the same privileges and to just be willing to listen sometimes mm -hmm. like when you when you're like us like we don't know what it's like to to experience those same kinds of issues on every day in life yeah. so sometimes just listen just listen to what other people go through and be willing to just do that and don't talk for, for others. others that's the one thing i have learned a lot within this past year just like just by watching don't comment on other people's struggles if you haven't been through the same thing and don't understand it just listen, listen. to people yep and, you know, I think too, like just having, you know, people, there's been a lot of talk now about like, what can we do if we do occupy a space of privilege? And I think it's listen and then stand with those people in our community, but don't talk for them. Mm -hmm. Just, just stand with them. And that's all. And I think that's, you know, pride 2019. Let's do better y'all. Let's do better. The last thing on a not so serious note. Oh, he's like, actually more makeup. <laughs> grab, grab any kind of lip gloss, any kind of glossiness Wait, natural, what? pucker your lips, oh, and this will give you a nice extra little oomph during pride. I didn't think we were doing lip gloss. Yeah, it just gives you a nice juiciness. Give it, give yourself <laughs> some, give yourself a shine. Let me see. Do I look wet? Stop saying that. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, you just have a nice little shine. Give me a pucker. Yeah. Isn't that how you do in the beauty world? I hate you. You show like a little bit of teeth and like lip or something. I don't know. That, oh, that's a good one right there. That is a good one. <laughs> did I do it right? Close Beauty enough. community, did I do this right? You should go close to the camera to show oh, okay. off your, your rainbow. Okay, wait. Is that is that good? Ooh, that really hits you. Go lower. Go lower? Okay. Look and uh, you have to go back and forth a little bit. Wow, my foundation yeah. shade does not really match you that well. <laughs> wow, but, like, okay. You look, you look, see, you look pretty good though. But look, see how the purple little glitter flex I put that in there from the highlighter? He has a gay, gay rainbow. Okay, stop it. 
No more. Beauty community. Oh. I'm coming for y'all. Oh, Lord. This is my year in the beauty community. Get out of here. <laughs> Have fun with some colors before going to Pride Festival. Go shop at Ulta or Target. Just like find some fun stuff to play with and yeah. like go ham. Guys, thank you so much for, for hanging out with us. We love Pride and we love just being able to like sit down and talk with you. Um, if you guys would like, please like in the comments below, leave some stories about your own personal experiences, maybe with your first Pride or with Pride in general. We would love to like be able to interact with you all. Maybe and some see, advice yeah. for people who are yeah. going to their first Pride. Exactly, yeah. Like just let's have a conversation about Pride and maybe like also about how we can, you know, grow as a community and lift others up as well. Yeah. So make sure you leave those comments. Ooh, the O'Hare. And I will end this video with saying happy, I guess happy, 50th, 50th anniversary from the Stonewall Riots. And thank oh, yeah. you to all those <laughs> who came before us to make it, po this has made it possible for us to celebrate yeah. Pride like we are now. Um, we don't take that lightly. And I just want to make sure, I know we have some people who watch us who are of the elder years, um, wherever the elder the years elder may be. Years. I don't know but if I would call them I want to look years, at but... you all <laughs> in the eyes and say thank you so much for coming before us and all the fights you've put yes. forth for us so Absolutely. that we could be here on YouTube doing each other's makeup, talking about pride. Yeah, and so yeah, we would love it if you guys would would give us a follow. How does it work on, how do you do it here? If you enjoyed YouTube, this Nick does stuff, YouTube more than I do. <laughs> click the big red subscribe button. There's a little bell notification next to the subscribe button. If you click that, it'll let you know when we upload Ding. a video because our upload schedule obviously yeah. is super inconsistent. So if you like our videos and you wanna know when it pop, when we actually film one and post it, <laughs> that'll notify you. Yes. Yeah, give this big video a big thumbs up too as well if you enjoyed it. If you wanna give it a thumbs down, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> We're going to try to, um, to film our vacation coming up. We're going to Thailand. Thailand. And we have a couple other videos coming out, hopefully. Yeah. So stay tuned for those, and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.